Hello, my name is Dmitry Astashov from the Data Center Server Virtualization Tech Team. Today, I will demonstrate how to initiate the diagnostic tool embedded in the UCS Manager to perform memory diagnostics on the servers. To begin the diagnostic process, navigate to the Servers section. Next, go to Policies. Within Policies, select and open Diagnostic Policies. At the bottom, click Add to create a new diagnostic policy. In the new window, provide a name for the diagnostic policy. The description field is optional. Next, configure the details of the memory test. Click Add at the bottom of the window. In the pop-up window, populate the fields according to your needs. Order defines the order of the test execution. CPU filter. Choose to configure for all CPUs or a specific CPU. Loop count. Set the number of test iterations. Minimum one maximum 1000. Memory chunk size. Set the memory chunk to big chunk or 5 megabyte chunk. Memory size. Specify the tested memory size. Pattern. Choose from butterfly, killer, PRBS, PRBS address or PRBS killer tests. Once all fields are filled out, click OK and then finish. After creating the diagnostic policy, assign it to a Blade server and integrate the track server or all servers. To assign the policy to a specific server, navigate to the desired server by accessing equipment and then chassis. At the top of the screen, open the Diagnostics tab. In the Diagnostic tab, go to Diagnostic Policies and select the policy you created from the drop-down menu. To initiate the diagnostic test, press the start button. A pop-up will inform you that this diagnostic test will cause a server reboot. If the server is in production, follow best practices and execute diagnostics during a maintenance window or less busy hours. If ready, press yes to continue or no to cancel. Below the start and stop buttons, you will see a progress bar showing the current task description and overall progress. You can stop the diagnostic at any time by pressing the stop button. Once the diagnostic test is complete, the diagnostic result will be displayed. In this test, no memory issues were found. If the result shows fail, generate the logs for the server and contact TAC for assistance. Now let's proceed with testing all Blade servers in our environment. Remember, this activity is highly intrusive and should be performed during a maintenance window as it will reboot all servers. To run diagnostics on all servers, access equipment and click diagnostics on the far right. This opens a new screen where you can select to run diagnostics on Blade servers or Rack servers. Heads up! The server will execute the diagnostic test selected in the diagnostic policies, just as demonstrated in the previous steps. This process allows for simultaneous execution of multiple diagnostic tests on servers with different configurations. By clicking Start, a pop-up will appear informing you that the servers will be rebooted. Choose Yes to proceed with diagnostic test or No to cancel. After confirming the diagnostic test, you will see the progress for multiple servers reflected in the operation state column and the overall progress percentage column, indicating the current test percentage. Once the diagnostic is completed, you can double click on any server to investigate further. This action will open the diagnostic result for that specific server. If you see that the result column reports fail instead of pass, please open a case with TAC. Collect the server logs, or if you have Intersight available, collect the serial number of the server. Include this information in the case to help our engineers start investigating the issue immediately. Thank you for watching.